you have kids who are interested in drama, this is your show, man. So, 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 so get ready because we're going to give you information. You know how drama helps open the mind, you know, when you have kids and you introduce them to drama, to acting. It opens your minds, you know. We, we don't do that too much here, but what if I tell you that there's a program that's doing that in Ghana that you can get your kids into? You'll be happy. Oh, show some love, man. Show some love. <laughs> it's every time. <laughs> yes, it's called the Helen O'Grady Drama Academy, and I have people here to talk about it. And there are two outstanding people. One of them already we know. Show some love, man. <laughs> well, we know Ramabru. Ramabru is in the house. Show some love, Ramabru, man. Ramabru in the house. <laughs> and also with Ramabru is Kweku Boateng, who is, I guess, one of the big brains behind this institution that we're going to be talking about. Show some love for Kweku Boateng, man. Let's do the hat trick, man. Let's do the hat trick. Yeah, yeah, man. Rama, you got to do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Kweku, you, you, you went into acting in the UK, right? That's right, yes. yes you were yes. in the drama school for what, the Royal something? The Royal Academy of Royal Dramatic Academy. Art, rather. Okay. Yeah. So okay. I, I was there for three years, mm -hmm. yeah, um, from the age of 18, and um, graduated in 2003, and then went straight into theatre and film, TV in London, and it's taken me on a wild journey mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. And then I found myself here in Ghana, mm -hmm. yeah, so... I, I I've seen you on a couple of things in Ghana as well. Yeah, you, you were. The pasta plus one. What's, what's, uh, the, the, praising the Lord plus praise. one. <laughs> <laughs> very close, very close. Hey, Kwanza will, will kill me. <laughs> he will kill me. Praising the Lord plus that's one. Right, that's yeah. right. That's and, right. Uh, so uh, uh, yeah. What else? But we, we did a movie together, if really? you remember, with Shelly from Pumman, so Checkmate. Oh, yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. But of I had course. to vanish before. We were meant to meet in that scene, but I had to vanish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, we were, I was in Checkmate as oh, okay. well as the sidekick okay, to... Okay. Um, the lead character. Good, good, good. Yeah. Good. And, uh, well, I'm and going to talk about yeah. how you came up. We're going to lead up to this. Sure. But in the meantime, Rama Brew, yes, show us some love, man. <laughs> I, have, I have ambition to make before national television that um, Rama Brew, you know, she's been acting way, way, way back then, you know, where we were the ish, you know. <laughs> that and yes, you know, where, 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 there was a series called Avenue A and Rama Brew was in it and before the whole gun, I have to admit, I had a crush on her, man. Roma, I did, oh. You did. Oh, did yes. It. I never knew. Oh, you never knew? No. Oh. Now, you know. now, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> With the rest of Ghana. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> but uh, I know you are involved in, in this school. Yes. We'll come, we're going to get to that. But Rama, you've been doing a lot of things, man. And I think what I have to do is to invite you here so that we do a full personality profile on you. Okay. I know now you're coming to talk about the School of yes, Arts for the yes. Kids. Yeah. So, so we'll remain there. But, but stand by. Okay. An audience, stand by. We're going to do a whole feature <laughs> on my crush. <laughs> so now let me get back to hmm. the school. Yes. So, yeah, the school, we, yeah. Yeah, we, uh, we started the school in October last year. Um, but before... I even went into the school. So you see, I moved to Ghana in 2009, mm -hmm. April 2009. And before that, as I said, I've, I was in the UK. I was born here in Ghana, and we moved um, from Ghana when I was eight. My parents moved to the, um, my dad moved first to the UK. Then we followed him a year after. Mm. And so when I was eight, we moved to a place called Exeter in mm. Devon, southwest of England. And so from eight years old, I was there. Me and my brothers were the only, you know, pretty much the only black people in mm. school. And um, we lived there till I was 16. Mm. Then we moved to Wales, Swansea. So um, my dad was lecturing. He's, he was a university okay. lecturer at that point. And um, so we moved to Swansea and um, that I, I did my A-levels there. And I wanted, I love sports, anything sports I would do. So I wanted to be a sports journalist. So I took PE, media studies, and A-levels, you have to take three subjects. Mm. So I decided, what can I do as a third subject? Just, just to quickly get, you know, past time. And I said, drama, that sounds like a laugh. Mm. Mm. Unbeknownst to me, and thank God, 
my drama teacher was the most serious human being I've ever wow. met. And so I used to miss his lectures. I'd be playing football. If it was rugby, I'd be playing rugby with the guys. If it was um, tennis, if it was football, anything, I'd be late for drama. And then one day he cornered me and went, listen, you're really talented, but you're always late for my lessons. Right? You either back up now or I kick you out. Mm. And I went, oh, OK. Wow. Well, I, I might as well do something. So yeah. I decided to, to put my effort. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, wow, you're really good, aren't you? Um, you should audition for National Youth Theatre of Great Britain, which was uh, the biggest youth theatre in Britain. I auditioned, I got in at the age of 16. I got in and I did a three-week acting course and that's where I fell in love with acting. Wow. I'd never wanted to do acting before, really? before that. I came back and I said to him, my drama teacher is called Simon Perrot. Simon, I know you watched this one day. Amazing, thank you. I went back and I said, I think I want to do acting for the rest of my life. Really? And he went, are you serious? I went, yeah. He said, it's fantastic, boy. Brilliant. What, do you want to, what you want to do now is you want to audition for RADA, Lambda, Guildhall. He started naming all the <laughs> drama schools in London. And I auditioned for all of them. And by God's grace, I managed to get into Central School of Speech and Drama, Guildford, RADA. I had a choice of the best places. And I said to him, where shall I go? He said, I think you should go to Rada. It's got a great name. I think you do well there. And that was it. Really? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I find interesting? Many people talk about how they had a passion for something they yeah. knew all along. You just no. stumble onto it and then you yeah. discovered. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for Simon putting, being really harsh on me, I don't know, I'd be some sports journalist somewhere. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but no, I'm very grateful for that. And that's what took me out here. 2009, I came here, set up. Um, I set up Cape Watting Academy of Dramatic Art, okay. uh, Performing Arts, which was a school I was trying to set up doing acting mm -hmm. as well. And it was very difficult to get things going. So I decided, okay, just concentrate on your acting. Mm. So I did a few films and went back to the school. And it was still difficult to get people interested mm. in really following an acting course. And then I met a friend, um, I met a friend who, from the UK and she told me about these franchises mm. of drama schools mm. and I looked into it and I said, this is perfect. Everything's set up already. All I have, all I have to do is just run it. So I, I called the people and they're based in South Africa. The Africa, um, Helen O'Grady is all around the world. There's, there are like 35 countries in the world mm -hmm. that run mm -hmm. the program. Mm -hmm. So I, I went to the um, Africa director who's based in Cape Town and I said listen I'd love to be a part of this I want to be a principal and I want to buy a franchise because you have to buy the franchise and he said send us your CV and a cover letter I sent my CV he said wow because he trained he trained at Guildhall which I got into and turned down so we have a joke about that <laughs> but he trained at Guildhall and he said wow you trained at RADA you where have you been all our lives? We've been looking for someone to run the Ghana Academy. Really? Yeah, because a lady was running it before, an Indian lady. And, In um, Ghana? Yeah, yeah, before. And it, wasn't, it didn't really pick up. So they were, like, they were looking for someone who could do it. And they were like, you're perfect. Can you come down to Cape Town for, Cape Town for your principal's training? I was like, yeah. So I flew over there in 2013, did my principal training. Wow, how there. long was that? That was for one week, intensive. Um, very intensive, visiting all the schools and doing a theoretical aspect. And then, um, and then I came back and bought the franchise and 2014, last year, October, decided I was finally ready to open it and get going. So, and it's been fantastic response from there. So it's been from open? There. Yep, it's open. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and you train? We, tra we train children, children from the ages of three years old all the way up to 18 years old. And then we also have an adults class for 19 plus, yeah. So it's um, the, basically the essence of the academy is all about social um, development through drama. So mm -hmm. we're, we're making sure the children are confident in themselves. We're making sure that they, they're learning language skills, social skills, mm -hmm. they're being self-confident. So it's a whole academic routine? It's, it's, but it's, is it woven around acting? How, how, how yeah. Yeah. yeah, so basically it's not very academic in terms okay. of how you... It's, it's very practical actually. Practical, okay. um, but what we do is uh, all the exercises, because it's a franchise, it's very specific in mm -hmm. terms of what mm -hmm. the curriculum mm -hmm. is in the syllabus. So they're learning speech, language, 
um, how to speak properly, um, confidence levels, you know, all that stuff is interwoven into mm. um, improvisations, uh, speech, um, tongue twisters, l snippets, dialogues, so many things. And just play, storytelling and play. So children have, a, children have the freedom to fall on their feet, use their imaginative brain and faculties, which they're not, you, sometimes they're hindered from in school. So they get that, they get that opportunity to really let themselves be, mm. create, use the thoughts and their imagination to really get into um, uh, whatever it is that they're mm. doing in class. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And Rama, your involvement in this? Um, as a teacher, one of the teachers. You're one of the teachers. Mm -hmm. Do you teach like uh, everything or you focus on just confidence building or just speech? Or uh, well, a bit of everything, the confidence building and the speech. Now, is this like a Monday to Friday kind of thing or is a selected day? So, so what we have is we have the studios on Saturdays at the Nubuke Foundation in East okay. Ligon. Yeah. yeah, and that's our first studio. So what we're going to do is we're going to be opening studios all around Greater Accra. So Osu, Laboni, um, Airport, um, Tema, Dansum. We'll be opening studios all around. But for now, our first studio is in East Legon. So watch out for a studio near you. Um, but what we do is in the weekdays, we go into schools, into um, international schools, private schools, and we give them after school drama classes mm -hmm. or in school drama mm -hmm. classes. Mm -hmm. and, and then on Saturdays, we have our studio classes where people come to us mm -hmm. at Nubuke. So that's the setup. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Rama, you at at Nabuke? That's yes. Where? And um, the, are you handling what age groups, or is it like all the students? Um, my age group is from what 13, 13, 13 up to the eighteen, up to eighteen, thirteen to eighteen. Yes. The youth theatre group, mm -hmm. basically. Really? Yeah. And how many? You have you have quite a few people there? Yeah, we have. Um, right now, we're getting almost up to I think it's almost fifty students altogether. Um, we have four different groups. We have the kindies, which are three to five year olds, mm -hmm. and then we have the lower primary, five to eight year olds, and then upper primary, nine to twelve, and then youth theatre, thirteen to eighteen. Ah, then we have the adults, nineteen plus. plus yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so if you want to do communication skills, presentation, public speaking for adults and corporates, you can come down can to come those down classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And build up on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I see. Uh, how long have you been with them? Um, not long. Not long at all. Long. Auntie Rama was very, very, very new, actually. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think a few days ago we put on Facebook that um, she's now part, she's of, now part of it. Yeah, yeah, officially, yeah. Um, but she's been through the teacher training. We give each teacher, that's another thing that's really important, we make sure that because of the way the syllabus and curriculum is, we have to select teachers who are very adept in terms of speaking, uh, the English language because speech is a core part of the mm, curriculum. Mm, so mm. Um, obviously, Aunt Rama speaks beautifully and for impeccably. impeccably. <laughs> so for, for um, what we what we're struggling with is we're actually looking for teachers. So if there's anyone out there who wants to teach drama, please they should, you know, send their information to us. But what we get is we get a lot of very talented teachers who can teach drama and have that affability with children. But when it comes to the spoken word and language they're not so skilled and mm. what's going to happen is they have to teach all this language to children yeah. who are going to soak it up and they're going to learn it s pronunciations in a bad way and and the school because it's an international franchise we're being told on how who to bring in in terms of the quality of speaking mm. so we have to be very selective mm. how do people get in they just call and come or they will come and take a test uh, What's like the okay. minimum? Is there okay for the for the people to come and act? Yeah, no, yeah, or to the be a teachers. Part, yeah, no, no, the, the, the people to enroll to in the school. Yeah. Okay, it's very simple. There's no auditions. There's no things like that. Anyone's welcome. Mm. Uh, as we said, the main thing is about development through drama. Mm. So we don't want to create stars. It's not about creating stars. It's about making sure your child leaves with full confidence, self-esteem 
social skills, language skills, so that they can go out into the real world and use that part of the brain which is not encouraged in school. So they're really thinking out, outside the box. So um, what we do is we, um, if parents feel that their children have all this creative energy mm -hmm. and on Saturday mornings and afternoons mm -hmm. they want to get them away, not in that bad way, yeah, but you know, yeah. push them Give to, them, yeah, exactly, to do, yeah. then they, they, they just call us up. Usually they see us on Facebook or our, our leaflets are everywhere around town. Um, and um, and this is a great platform. But like, yeah, they see it and then they call us mm -hmm. and we'll just take your details. We'll find out how old your child is and then we'll bring your child to a free trial lesson. So they don't have to commit yet. They come for a free, it's one hour, the class. Um, they come for a free trial lesson. If the child enjoyed it, they tell the parent and then the parent can enroll and pay. Oh, so the, the child... Next. The child is exactly. giving a free trial yes. for them to decide whether exactly. or not they want to stay. It's totally up to the child. And that's what the parents like because they they're like, well, if, if they say they like it, I'm paying for them to go. And I think you can see on our Facebook, we put all our pictures on Facebook of our classes. The children love it. The children love it. I mean, Ghana lacks these type of institutions where children are allowed to be themselves and play mm -hmm. and um, allowed to fall flat on their feet and be wrong and mm. and you know and and we we need to we need to be able to give our children that space to mm -hmm. make, mm -hmm. mistakes, make mistakes have fun let them learn from it exactly yeah. so this this is exactly what you know okay. what's happening you right. have a number there's a number they can call it yes go facebook we have what's, a number yeah what, what's, yep. what's it's zero five four two six zero two three six eight okay and the number is on your screens right now so parents who want their kids to Yes. To enroll, yeah. give them something worthwhile doing exactly. on the weekends. Exactly. They can call this number? Yep. Okay. And we have a website as well okay. if they want and to check uh, that out. Yeah, can you give that It's um, www.dramaafrica.com. Okay. Yeah. And that's on your screen as well. Rama, your, 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 your last words? Well... Um, well, I think that um, this program is really good for the children because... Um, I always say, maybe some people might not agree with me, in Ghana we use English administratively. But when we go home, we all speak in our different dialects. Mm. So the thought pattern when people are speaking is usually in your mother tongue. Mm. And then you're making that translation from your mother tongue into English. So that's where a lot of conflicts and misunderstandings come and people say, oh, I didn't say that, or you didn't hear me properly. But that's what the problem is. So when we start to teach people how to switch that off, you know, so when you're speaking to me, you're listening exclusively to what I'm saying to you and you won't make any kind of, you know, um, mm. assumptions mm. as to what you thought I said. Mm. So that's why I think that this program is very, very good, especially for young actors as well for them to have a real good grasp of the English language. If mm. you're acting in English, you act and think exclusively in English. Mm. If you're mm. acting in vernacular, you mm. do the same. You mm. do not confuse the two. Mm. Because mm. then, it's a, yes. It's a ploy by the director. Mm. It's an mm. intentional thing. Yeah. Unless, it's, unless, it's, yeah. unless it's like that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, fantastic, man. So yeah. um, 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 I wish you all the best, man. Thank and, you, uh, thank you. Uh, the number is on your screen one more yep. time. Yep. You can call. And adults can come in there too. Anybody yeah, wants to? Yeah, yeah, adults can come in. Uh, adults are 19 plus. So if, they, if you're in a company and you want public speaking skills, uh, presentation skills, that type of stuff, speech skills, elocution, you can come to us and we work on that. But it's just getting you confident and making you more assertive in your choices. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, Sorry, yeah. just one more thing. Sure. We have a talent management with the school. Okay. So when the children, um, when they're commercials or films or TV or castings for anything, we get the children involved in that. Mm. So um, the children can go up for anything okay. out there in terms of that. And that's the academy talent management okay. and casting. And once you enroll, is there like a, a, a time frame? Yeah, it's, we run on the school uh, calendar, academic calendar. Okay. So we have three terms. So okay. the first term is 12 weeks, second term is 12 weeks, and the third term can be between 10 and 12 weeks. The third term is when we do a scripted production for parents to see. It's basically a, you know, um, mm -hmm. a, a production for at the end of the year for the parents to come and see what their children have been doing for the whole year. Yeah. All right. Before you leave, I have a... 
a three-day KSM guest pass for, for, for Pulse Fitness uh, Center. Oh, okay. There's one at the Sports Complex. That's right, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. That, yeah. Yes, I know. And one at the World Trade Center. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. They, have, they have great... You look like your gym, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've started gym. I'm you know. doing some program called P90X. Oh, really? It's not easy. It's not it easy. Is <laughs> it's anyway, tough. here's a free pass. You can uh, just oh, pass thank by. Thank you so much, man. And uh, it's a three day pass. Oh, fantastic. So enjoy it. Thank yeah. You. Oh, fantastic. And, uh, really let me know how you feel about it. Definitely. Pulse. Yeah. Definitely. All right. Yeah, I might have to join it after my P90X. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Great, man. Show some love, man. Show some love. Show some love. So that's about the Helen O'Grady that's Academy right. in Accra, and yeah. the number is on your screen. And I encourage anyone who wants to get a little bit more in-depth uh, uh, learning lessons in acting, please call the number. And especially parents who want to send their kids there. It's, uh, it's a whole new field and uh, very, very, very valuable to your children. Stick around. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.